now this is the design we are going to create it so again i have taken the same naka 2412 error file okay so this is the error file internally we have some holes you know the purpose of these holes to remove the extra weight and this rectangular uh, uh, space this is to insert the uh, front spar and rear spar okay so all the dimensions are given to create this rib section and this is the top view of the wing section what is this 200 states uh, indicates root chord length yeah very good so this is the root chord length so here i have been mentioned so up from 1 to 4 same chord length okay it is just a straight wing same chord length from 5th onwards the chord length is reduced 180 160 140 120 so any idea what is this 0.9 0.8 any idea what sir it is the fraction by which the chord length has been decreased i believe uh, not paper ratio what did you say another one student the fraction with which the chord length has been decreased yeah very good scaling ratio okay the scaling factor this is one time means this is point 90 percentage of this uh, uh 200 okay so this is the scale value very good uh, uh from the scale value you can understand we are using the same error file and simply we are reducing the scale here and all okay but normally in the uh, commercial aircraft if you take air file profile also will vary from root to uh, tip section that is called aerodynamic twisting but here for simplicity we have taken the same air file from fifth onwards we reduce the scale okay and this is the last one very thin one and thickness you can take it as 5 mm okay I, i think it is missing here you can take 5 mm thickness for every rib and this is like a sheet so you can take 1 mm uh, something we will uh, we will see so once it is designed then we can cover it with a skin so first step we have to create this uh, air file rib section then second step we have to create the n number of planes okay then for example here i have created the rib, uh, rib section then i have to create n number of planes so here it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 planes i have to create then i am going to copy this profile and paste it in all the plane so i will get nine uh, air file profiles then i will reduce the scale of uh, the air file profile card length from fifth to ninth i will reduce the scale then i can convert this into 3d model then i can create the spar then skin like that i am going to proceed so let's see this diagram is important using that only we have to create the uh, profile so now first step we have to create naka 2412 for the car length of 200 mm so naka 2412 already i have you know from where to get this gst file right yes sir yes sir. can you tell the path let me check i am opening that uh, this window can you tell where to go to get the file this pc program files this pc program files insert this pc then local disk then where the software installed yeah program files you don't know uh, if you don't know where it is installed first you can check the program files there is no dasal system then another option program files cross 86 okay so software will randomly uh, sit on both folders so if you exactly don't remember you can check both the folders okay next we went to program files next step dasal search dasal system okay only one folder is there b20 here also only one folder is there intel a then then next folder uh, 
हेलो हेलो यस सर तो नेक्स्ट वन इज कोड देन कमांड ओके कोड एंड कमांड हियर यू हैव टू राइट टाइप जीएसडी देन यू हैव टू टेक दिस जीएसडी अंडरस्कोर पॉइंट्स प्लेन लॉग फ्रॉम एक्सेल okay don't forget so i told right for previously and all for yes sir the, so they they forgot this step how to create the error file but they are familiar with all the part design tools sketch tools etc and all they can create it but as they forgot this step they were simply sitting and simply they they got fail marks like that so they it will it happened in previously and all so this is very important okay so the file i pasted in the desktop so these two coordinate files i pasted from this uh, ua uac website or air file tools website at last it should be n cow n loft n and these points should be zero okay trailing edge point should be zero this you have to check it and there should be a third column that should be zero because after is the 3d uh, design software you have to define all three columns so on the once the file is create what is the next step to import then insert sorry ma so now the file is ready okay if you open the ktia yeah, the default window will be the product window you have to close that you have to open the mechanical design part design so in this page we have to import it okay if you don't open this part design if you try to import it won't import at all okay so first step is creating this file second step is opening this part design in the ktia then only points will be imported is it clear yes sir so now we can import it for that you have to go to the view toolbar macros so this workbook main run three call in then selecting the plane which is parallel to the profile go to the sketch next project 3d element so the line is projected next step so we projected and we need only this uh, line so i am copying it now i don't so want delete this. the previous one yeah very good so we copied the projected line i don't want this projected points so from here you can delete it you can see the delete is uh, not enabled okay so if you want to delete it where we have imported there we have to go so we have imported in part design so we have to go to part design to delete it so we came to the part design now the delete option is enabled deleted now we have to paste the the copied profile so we copied on this sketcher then we can paste it on the sketcher only select the same plane go to the sketcher now paste it next step offset not offset now the length is of Scale. 1 mm yeah very good the length is of 1 mm so what we need is the 200 mm so we have to increase the scale scaling and making offset and deleting the uh, original one yeah, very good so scaling tool in the operation toolbar so fourth one if you expand you can get the scale tool so we need some reference point i am taking this leading edge as the reference point so 200 times i am increasing so that i will get 200 card now this one i can fix it okay the orange color means already it got selected so simply i am fixing it and this one i don't want the original file so delete it now you use fit all in so the 200 mm uh, error file is created now we can create that internal geometries 1 2 3 4 5 circles and the two rectangles you can see the circle center point is not coincide with this axis okay so this will be the card line 
the line joining leading edge and trailing edge. A little bit, uh, it will be low. You can see the center uh, circle center points are not aligning on the uh, card line. Okay, it is just above that. And the vertical distance also they mentioned first circle two m mm above this line, and this is a second rectangle. Okay, I have been able to. So from this line to the center line, it is six m mm. From here to here, it is two m mm. From here to here, it is three m mm like that. They are given the distance. So nothing is aligned on the card line. So while creating. You should be careful. Okay, there should there should not be any auto alignment. Okay, now let's create it. So we will create the first circle. Circle of radius. Sorry, dia ten mm. From here to here, two mm. From the leading edge to here, twenty mm. We will create that first. Take the circle. It should not coincide here. So somewhere here, I am creating it. So ten mm. From the axis to this one is two mm. And from here to here, it is twenty mm. Is that correct? The next one is rectangle. So from here to here, it is six mm. I think remaining total length is seventeen. The thick. Tell me, ma. Oh, no, sir. I was telling the length. Okay, thank you. Okay, seventeen. This thickness is six, and from here to here it is thirty. So this is seventeen. This is six. And from here to here, thirty. Next circle, dia fifteen, three mm above, totally fifty mm or thirty mm from the center point. Okay. You can see while well, uh, drawing itself, it is trying to create the constraint. Okay, there are tangency like that and all. You should ensure there is no auto constraint. Dia is fifteen. <coughs> From here to here, it is three. I hope. And this center point to this center point. Okay. See, it is inclined dimension. So let me change the background. I will make it to black so that it can be easily visible to you. You should not be inclined one. Okay. We have to select this one and this one. It is inclined. Right click, make it as horizontal. So this is thirty. The next one is, I think both are four mm above. Both are fifteen, twenty feet, twenty feet apart. So okay. See, while creating this many constraints, it is coming. So you have to ensure it is not aligned. Okay, so two circles are created.
okay remaining one circle no rectangle 3 mm above 10 25 this is 10 4 2 totally 140 okay Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay, so yes, sir. Okay, so one profile you have created. So for the other planes, uh, uh, planes also we have the same error file. Okay, so it is easy. This procedure is easy. So next step, exit the sketcher. So this tree is very important. Okay, you can see all your steps here. So next step, I have to create the planes, okay, which is parallel to this profile. This plane, I have to, uh, multiple planes, I have to create it. Let's see how many planes we need it. So one plane is there. Additionally, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight planes, I need it. And up to seventh plane, it is of 100 mm. Only the last one is 50 mm, okay. So eight plane, okay, first let me uh, create it for 100 mm. Then at last i will change this last plane distance is 55 okay eight plane we have to create so i have selected this plane which is parallel to the profile then reference element last one is plane tool so here distance is <coughs> sorry so distance between each plane is 100 mm you can preview and here there is another option because at a time we can create only one plane but there is an option repeat object after ok now if you give ok so one plane will be created and we will get another one window where we can define the remaining planes so one is created then remaining is how much six right seven totally eight uh, six uh, yeah seven six seven. six Plus seven. So okay, additional plane if it is there also not an issue. You can hide it. Okay, just this for reference only. So let us let's create seven planes. Okay. So now these many planes I have created. Let me count on again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven planes. Hundred mm. Eighth plane fifty five. Here also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plane. Hundred mm. This plane alone it should be fifty five mm. Let's modify that. Just double click the plane. Now you see it is locked. Okay. Because uh, uh, every software is running based on some coding, right? So it has taken some formula based on that it, it has created. So we can modify that formula. See, for all the planes, it has created some formula. But for the last plane, this is the last plane. I don't want that formula. Okay, I have to enter the uh, value on my own. So what I am doing, select the last plane. Here you can search, delete. Okay, select the last plane where I don't want the formula. I have deleted it. Now, okay. Now you see it is enabled. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay, let me repeat it here. So we have used repeat OK object method. So that means after do some uh, coding formula to create all these planes for a particular distance. So for the last plane alone, I want to change it, but it is not possible because there is a formula involved. So I don't want the formula for the last plane alone. So members 
I am taking the last plane. Okay, plane eight. Here you can check. Plane eight. Okay, for that plane eight, I don't for don't want this formula point seven. So I am deleting that formula point seven. So that it is deleted. Now it is you know, uh, asking us to change it. So it should be fifty five. Yeah. So fifty five means. Seven forty five. Seven forty five. Very good. Seven forty five. Okay. Now all the planes are created. Now simply we have to just copy this profile and paste it in all the planes. Ah, uh, sorry, seven fifty five, right? Sir, seven fifty five. Seven fifty five. Wow. Yeah, seven hundred plus fifty five. Okay, we can change it. Not an issue. Seven fifty five. Thank you. Now simply I have to copy this profile and paste it in all the planes like a normal copy paste. Okay, if it is of different different era file, every time you have to create this. For example, you have to go to this plane. There you have to paste the different era file like that. You have to do it. But for the simplicity, we are using the same profile. So simply you can do just right click, copy, and paste it in the plane. So normally many may not see this tree. Okay, even though if it is visible, they may not see. They will try to copy from here and try to paste it on this plane. But if you do that, what will happen? Immediately, these planes will be hidden. This this is some bug uh, bugs in the software. Okay, so if you copy from this error file and paste it in this tree, in this plane, immediately the remaining plane will be hidden. Then you cannot copy paste to the other things. To avoid that issue, so what we are doing, all that operation copy paste we are doing in this tree. So copy the sketch from the tree. Then paste it in the plane from the tree itself. Now see, once it is pasted, all other things are hidden. Okay, so here it is not visible. Then our only hope is this tree. Only here we can paste it. So I copy it. Simply have to paste it. Here also the trick is there. We have to paste it in the same order. If you change the order again, it is showing some error. Okay. So copy here and paste it in this tree itself in all the plane while pasting the uh, pasting in the planes. Don't change the sequence. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So now we have nine error file profiles. From one to four, it is of same card length. Remaining, we have to reduce it. So let's reduce it. So from fifth one, I have to change it. So double click on the profile. It go to the sketcher window. Actually, remaining error files also visible, but we are working on only on this uh, sketch. Okay, even though other things are visible, even though it is like we uh, we can select it, but it is not effective to the other sketches. Only on this sketch we are working, so no need to worry about the other uh, things. Okay, so now I am selecting as a whole. We have to reduce the scale with respect to this uh, leading edge. I am reducing the scale. I don't want this duplicate mode. Okay, because already the sketch is in the part design only. So without the duplicate mode itself, it will work. Sometimes if it is not working, you have to go with the duplicate mode. Then you have to delete the, the original profile. What is the scale value? Point nine. One eighty. Yeah, one eighty card. Corresponding scale value is point nine. You give. It's reduced. Okay, you can see here. Okay. Sir, can you repeat this once? The same step I'm going to repeat for all the error files. Don't worry. Okay. Same procedure everywhere. I'm going to repeat. So I will repeat okay, here sir. now. So double click. So even though all the profiles are visible, if you select only, the, it is it will be applicable to this sketch. Even though in the tree it is like selecting all the sketch, it is applicable only to this sketch. So it, it got selected. Now go to the scale tool. We need the reference point. Select this zero point as the reference point, and here the scale value is point eight, I think, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Now itself, you can see the same step I followed in the previous error file. The complete error file changed. Now here also I selected as a box selection complete error file selected. You can see only that circle and rectangle is uh, activated. 
that error file is not working okay let me give then you will understand for example point 8 i am giving i am giving okay now you see the error file profile it is not changing only the internal profile is changing again this also a software bug only because in the previous previous case it is working right we haven't changed anything simply we selected and we changed both error file and the internal profiles changed decreased but here the error file is not decreased what we have to do just press control is it that issue is sometime due to this fix tool in the trailing edge okay because of this fix tool the trailing edge is not changing it is fixed now let's try if it is working it is fine or we have to remove other two fix tools also from the error file so we need the reference point the scale is sir shouldn't the reference point be trailing edge because it's aligned at the trailing edge as per the diagram ha which is the trailing edge this is the leading edge so leading edge is the front part right? it's a different location but the trailing edge is aligned at the same place see this is the leading edge okay Okay. The trailing edge. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So many meter fences do that. I haven't mentioned. So this is leading edge. This is trailing edge. Here you can see. Only in the leading edge it is aligned. Trailing edge it is inclined. In three D it is clear, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Here you can see. Here it is straight. Here it is inclined. So, sir, in the case if we want uh, trailing edge to align, we need to choose the reference point as trailing edge, right? Yeah, very good. So, uh, if you are making straight in the trailing edge, then trailing edge should be your reference point. Or if you are taking any other quarter cut point as a reference line, according to that, if you are changing, then that should be your uh, reference point. Yeah, very good. Now also, it's see only this internal structure is reduced. Okay, so control is set. Let's remove all the fix tool from the error file. Okay, totally three fix tools will be there: upper profile, lower profile, then the trailing edge. Once everything is deleted, it will be in the white color lines. Sir, how you are deleting by pressing, selecting, and pressing deleting key? Just delete symbol. That's it. Uh, the uh, delete uh, button. Okay. Select this tool. If you couldn't select, you can zoom it. You can zoom out something. Delete it. Simply press the delete button. It got deleted. So now it will work. Select the error file. Go to the profile uh, scale tool. Leading edge is my reference point. Here it is point eight. Now see everything has changed. If you want, you can do the fix here once again. Hmm? Okay, it is reduced. Now again, go to the next one. This here also it won't work, but still I will try once without deleting the fix tool. Let me check once. Yeah, it is not working. Okay, only internal uh, circle rectangle is working. Then in that case, we have to delete. All these three fix tool, select and press the delete tool. Select uh, here itself. If you want, you can delete it. Right click and delete. Anything will work. Now select the profile. Go to the scale. Nine seven right. Nine seven. Then the last one is point six. Better I delete it now itself instead of wasting time. So delete the fixed tools. Again, these steps are unnecessary. We don't know why the software behaves like this because for the first two profile it worked without deleting. So reference point. Point six, right? Last one. Is that correct? Yes, sir. I think so. Okay. And another one important thing. Some people, what he will do? So after entering this point, 
mistakenly they may move the uh, cursor in that case here also the scale will move okay so once you enter this 0.6 simply you can press the enter button from your keyboard okay don't try to give okay if it come straight it is fine some people may go outside and come in that case scale will vary okay so once enter the scale value simply press the enter button so this also has changed then the last one actually in the last one it is a very small size here also you can see there is no internal profiles in that okay simply only the error file profile so i can delete this internal uh, structures remove the fix okay, now i have only the error file profile select it do the scaling of point 2 i hope it's reduced is that clear copy yes sir. yeah copy paste in the profile and reduce the scale now we can convert everything as a 3d uh, design how to go for that how to convert that into 3d extrude yeah extrude the tool is used in the solid works padding padding so, yeah instead here we have this pad okay. select the profile expand it for 5 mm even you can uh, repeatedly uh, repeatedly do it double click okay i told right continuously if you want to use you can simply double click so 5 mm this one enter and this one enter so double click the icon will make the icon work continuously sorry last one alone now uh, i leave it i will make this as a sketch uh, that is a surface hmm, if you want you can make it as a solid also so make that one mm i'm giving hmm. okay okay now this is over so next step we have to create this bar front bar and rear bar so we know before creating the 3d model first step is to create the 2d profile that means on this face i have to create this rectangle then on this face second rectangle on this face go to the sketch third rectangle i have to do it in that way okay so select this face so sketch can be created in any plane or in any planar surface okay select this surface go to the sketch it all in sometimes after we will make it rotate like that you can press this normal view even if it is not coming you can rotate of the desired uh, section sometime if you want to know which plane you have selected you can select uh, enable this grid mode because in the grid mode if you rotate you can identify okay where is the uh, sketch plane is there okay because as we have n number of play uh, ribs sometime it will be confusing on which face we are working in that case you can enable this grid mode if you tilt it you can see okay now it is in the front rib only and now in this face i have to create this rectangle but instead of creating simply i can project the lines okay so we know the tool which tool we have to use project 3d element select this line so it is projected so continuously if you want to project just double click so this line this line and this line okay i have projected mistakenly you should not select the surface you see if you select this surface all the edges got selected so all the edges will be projected you have to select only the rocket edges now we exit now the sketch is visible Okay. Actually, we have to go to this. 
uh, plane and select the sketch then you should draw it but instead of drawing it i just selected uh, i just projected it okay and this one i have projected actually if you have gone through the part design tools then you'll understand what is the difference between pad and multi section uh, solid pad means the same profile it will be extended in the uh, straight line okay pad tool will convert the profile into a rod okay straight rod same cross section straight rod we can make it but this multi section uh, solid so we can change the cross section it can be of bigger rectangle here small rectangle here or even rectangle on one side another side circle like that different different cross section also we can join and you can create the rod so you can see from 1 to 4 same size uh, profile that means same rectangular profile so once i know this profile simply i can use the pad tool okay once you know this rectangular profile simply using the pad tool i can convert that into the rod from here to here but here the rectangle size is different here it is different here it is different it is keep on reducing so here i cannot use the pad tool so to connect this profile i am going to use the multi section solid is it clear yes sir yes sir okay so i am going to use pad from first to four then multi section solid from fourth to seventh so here same cross section everywhere so pad is working here different uh, size of cross section so multi section solid so as the profile is same everywhere so this one profile is sufficient i no need to project this rectangle on everywhere so now select the pad tool so this is the profile i want to extrude for the length what is the length 300 mm 300 mm very good so 300 first it, let's check how it goes the wrong the direction dire yeah direction we have to change it you can change it here or here okay 300 mm let's preview so 300 mm means it is touching this wall but here we have given 5 mm 300 yeah 3 not 5 we can give but i am going to give 3 not 4 because again i have to project the rectangle here to use the multi section solid if i go for the 3 not 5 what will happen see it will completely uh, cover up to this face then the rectangle is not visible convergence sorry ma Uh, if, if it's completely filled, then uh, it will converge with the other uh, multi section. Uh, now what I have to do again? I have to uh, select this face, go to the sketch. I have to draw the rectangular profile. Then I have to proceed. It is uh, again it will take uh, three four steps additionally. So for that purpose only, actually it should be extended up to three hundred five only. Okay, so it is good only if you make it as. But we have to do another one step, drawing the profile again. So I am making it as three hundred four. so that now instead of drawing i can uh, select this profile using project 3d element then i can easily project to the uh, move to the multi section solid okay yes sir okay then similarly this side also i can uh, do the padding for rear so select this surface go to the sketch profile fit tall in okay it is inverted it's not an issue it's okay now using project 3d element double click and select only the required lines mistakenly you should not select this line or this line select only the rectangular profile on that face and exit okay here is the profile do the padding reverse direction 304 okay so front and rear spar for the first and fourth rib is over now we can go for the multi section solid from here to seventh bar as usual select this faced go to the sketch see now we don't know on which plane we are so to ensure we can rotate okay we can identify we are in this plane only again 
these internal four corners i have to project but instead of these four lines simply if i select this face at a time all those lines will be projected okay as there is a slot we have the option if you select this surface all four lines will be projected if it is outside then it is difficult other lines also will be selected as it is inside by selecting the surface we projected all four lines is it clear yes sir okay now what you have to do in the same way you have to select this face go to the sketcher you have to project these four lines then select this surface go to the sketcher select these four lines similar like that you have to do it for all the era files now just to reduce the time i am straight away going to the last era file okay but originally you have to project the profile for all the rib section then only you should go for the multi section solid okay now let me show for the last profile select the face go to the sketch going to rotate to ensure whether it is on the same face or not okay now i need only these four lines double click project 3d element select these four lines the exit now i have two rectangular profiles of different size so pad will not work i should go for the multi section solid so select these two profiles okay you can preview it is showing some error is the profile is correct can you verify this rod is that fine shall i give okay or it needs some oh, modification no sir it's twisted this gap gap yeah. is yeah. it is twisted so how to ensure means in both profile you have to check this closing point it is very must in all the profile closing point should be in the same side same corner so here it is rectangle right so left side the lower corner we have the closing point there you check it should be also left side lower corner lower corner mistakenly it is here so now what happened the line is created from this closing point to that closing point that's why it is twisted so we have to change this closing point for that simply right click on this closing closing point replace then select the point where you want to replace now preview now you check it is proper right yes sir so you have to check this closing point it is very important and uh, yeah so but i have, i have taken only from here to here but you should take in between uh, uh, what is it profiles also because originally if you see there may be a small gap somewhere so to avoid that you have to project the rectangle in all the faces then you should use this multi section solid okay the same procedure we will follow it here for the rear spar go to the sketch ensure the plane is on that face okay now project that four lines by selecting this internal surface no it is wrong right the outer one is selected so delete it i think so where i have to create the sketch means on this internal face okay not on this face i have to create the sketch on this internal face is it correct so select this internal surface now the plane is in the internal, internal surface now you can project the internal lines yeah it is inside now same way last rib here on the outer face only this face select the sketch then project these four lines separately
So now I have two profiles. Go for the multi-section solid. Select the two profiles. Now, so select this profile. Here also select the profile. Last time mistakenly I selected the point. Select both profile. Now preview. It is also twisted, right? So check the closing point. So in this profile it is right side upper corner. Then in the last two profile, right side lower corner. So replace to this right side upper corner. Okay. Now check. Now it is perfect, right? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. Now internal structures are created. Now you can go for the surface design. So for that, go to start mechanical design, wireframe and surface design. So these tool, I just made the video. I have to upload it. I will upload it. So next class, you can write, explain about these tools. So this is extrude. So similar to the pad. And this is multi-section surface, similar to the multi-section solid. So extrude is to create the constant profile uh, sheet, okay, length of the sheet. And multi-section uh, surface is to create different cross-section sheet. So from first one to fourth one, it is same. I can go for the extrude. And here we have advantage. So we no need to create the profiles. So these sheets, it will work with the uh, edges itself. Okay, I will show it. I can straight away select this upper surface edge. Okay, instead of draw projecting the line, the edge, edge will work in this wireframe and surface design. And what is the dimension? 305, right? 305. Yes, yes so sir. In the direction. Which direction? I think Y. Not Y. So this compass you can see. Okay, it is Z direction, right? Only mistake is at other two direction. So this sheet should be created in the Z direction. You can see this line. Hmm? You can see the span of the wing is in the Z direction, right? Yes, sir. So Z direction I have to expand. So I should say I should select the Z direction. And this is three not five. So one side it is completely covered. Similarly, the bottom side, this profile, this is a direction three not five. So we have created the surface for the first four rib. Then from here to here, we cannot use uh, extrude tool. We should use for multi-section surface because the length of the profile is different. So select this profile. You can select the last profile. Then preview. It is showing it leads to cusp. It is telling there is a twisted. So here in the part, you can see the closing point. Okay. Sometime in the sheet, the closing point will not be visible. In that case, you have to check this arrow marks. Okay, this arrow marks, it should be on the same side. So in that profile, it is outside. But in this tip section profile, it is inside that arrow marks. Is it visible? The arrow marks. Now maybe you can visible. Hmm? 
on that profile it is uh, on the right hand side the last profile it is uh, left hand side so it should be on the same side so simply click on this error file profile that uh, arrow mark now it is on the same side now if you preview it will be generated is that clear yes sir so in the solid there will be a closing point which you have to check it in the surface this arrow mark you have to check it okay same way the bottom profile from here to here i think both side is on the same side okay this arrow marks it is aligned properly so this time it will come without any issue then <clears throat> i can create surface from here to here again that is one multi section uh, what is it solid what they will do some people even you can use multi section solid from this profile to this profile some people will try that also they may think okay sir necessarily wasting time we can try multi section solid from this profile to this profile because multi section solid will work for any cross section any length so are necessarily wasting time in that case if you do <clears throat> what it will do it will try to create a profile from here to here properly but from here to here it won't be like a straight cut it will be bulged okay there will be a, a bulge in this structure is that do you understand because software will try to create a tangent yes, surface so what will happen there will be a bulge in this portion sir uh, is there any um, possibility to clear the uh, extensions like cut the extensions of the bulk and that's a if you cut the extension uh, if you see from the rear word there will be opening oh okay sir. and like uh, can uh, cannot we align it aligning there may be option you can use the uh, spline tool spline also some there will be a, a bulge even if you use a spline also there may be a bulge okay sir. so this is the uh, easiest way that's why i split it into two okay even this multi section solid i can extend from here to here i did it right i can do it from here to here also again this is too much variation right if you try here there will be a bulge so to avoid that i am creating separately okay okay so multi section solid from here to here then from here to here i think it will twist now because the arrow mark is in opposite directions this i have to change it outside or both should be turned inside anything is fine that's it so this is the simplest wing form 